if you go reach for this piece of paper that says implicit differentiation on it, you will find some strange and exciting funky little shape. Uh, X cubed minus, what is it? X, Y. Differentiation of your extreme. Extreme. Okay. So these these kinds of shapes were uh, not taught to you uh, earlier because they're just like too complicated, man. Without calculus, we don't even know how to to analyze them. But um, uh, I think this is some sort of there's some sort of name of this for this curve. I can't remember. Anyway, it looks kind of like a weird like Shrek here a little bit. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, suppose what I want right now is to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve. Uh, well, can we do it? Yes. How should we do it? Uh, differentiate everything. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Yep. I have this relationship between x and y, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Okay, go. The, this is the first problem from the handout called Implicit Differentiation. If you were going in order, it's like probably three back. You are in reverse order. You want to do this one together or do you guys feel like you got it? I wasn't one of the two up. I guess I'm. Sure. You have, for any like function based on any variable, what if you like, could we like define this like differentiable operator such that like you just take the derivative and pretend like it's like x, like you're differentiating with respect to x, and then you multiply it by it? Only partially understand what you're talking okay, about. Okay, so like let's say with this, uh, and then multiply it by dx. Doing this and then multiplying two by two. So you just define an operator oh. that does that yeah. and that. And then this would just be minus uh, x to y minus y dx plus uh, 2 y dy. Can you just like do that? Like create an operator? Yeah, I think it's less clear what you're really doing now, though. I don't know. Um, I have to think about why that would be a I guess it's kind of equivalent to what I'm about to do, right? Or you did it the, the normal way? I just thought that it could be like used to expand if you have like multiple variables. Yeah, I think that's actually like a multi-bar thing that they like develop. All right, so let's go. What's the derivative of x cubed? That's the easy one. 3x squared. Yeah, it's just 3x squared. But now, here's where we need to be careful. Because what I need to now do is I need to subtract the derivative with respect to x of xy. And what is, what is the derivative of xy? Emily, that sounds pretty hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, what does that even mean? Who, knows, who notices something? What, how should we be thinking of x times y? It's a product of product. Yeah. Y is the way, the reason why this is called implicit differentiation is because Y is kind of a function of X, but like not really. Y is really just something that depends on X. What you can say is that Y um, is not an explicit function of X. In other words, I can't give you a formula for Y in terms of X, but X and Y depend on each other in a way that like um, Y implicit, uh, this, this equation implicitly defines a function y of x. Never mind that. But what's important is that I have one thing that's changing, which is x, and I have another thing that's also changing based on x. And so definitely the product rule is needed here. Uh, 